fucking smile. Fuck off, I just on my hair. <laughs> get out, get out, fuck off. PAQ presents. Pull up skirt reverse. Bang the thing goes back in the jacket. <laughs> Welcome back to PAQ. We're a fashion show that drops videos every single Thursday, bringing the fun back to fashion. If you guys are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. To be part of the pack fam, I'm gonna need you guys to click on that subscribe button. If you've already been subscribed, I'm gonna need you guys to give this video a thumbs up. And if you've already done that, then you already know, drop a comment below of what you wanna see in future episodes. So instead of the first comment to get in the tote bag, it goes to a random commenter in the first hour. So this episode is about something really interesting. Could skirts be the next fashion trend for men? Something that we've noticed is becoming the new wave in menswear fashion also. This is not a joke, this is not us trying to be funny and try and make a, a daft costumey outfit. We are actually trying to make something sick. Our challenge is styling a fit around skirts. So to find some inspiration, we're gonna show you some existing outfits. This is the Young Thug Jeffrey album cover. Hard cover. Man looks like the ultimate warrior. I think it's controversial because obviously, like, I mean, you look at the name alone, Young Thug, <laughs> and then, like, you know, you got a young thug in a young skirt. So when we were kind of brainstorming ideas for episodes, we came across this picture of Serbia Young Walter, and we thought, skirts needs to happen. It's like the streetwear version of skirts. Like, I feel like what Young Thug had on before was like couture. This is kind of like I hear streetwear. I, I definitely want something similar. I've worn like shorts and like a bomber jacket, but I was going like cost cutter. This image is a great representation of how a lot of men way back when used to actually wear skirts, you know? Are you not entertained? So we know that skirts have been around for a long, long time, and we know there are many different ways to wear a skirt. What do you boys think you're gonna do? I think this challenge is actually a proper challenge for me. I think this is the first time I'm like, right, actually, how can I take something like this and infuse it with my own style? I might take like the warrior route, and I know. Well, like two challenges before, I've already worn skirts. Do you know what I mean? So okay, we get it, you're a skirt man. We are styling a fit around skirts. Not because we think, you know, it's something new and progressive. For this, it's already been a thing, and we want to, you know, try it ourselves. You get what I'm saying? So, what's every man saying? Are you excited? This is definitely going to be a challenge. PAQ skirts episode. Skirt fit challenge, wow. Skirt, skirt. That's how we're trying to slide into this challenge. I'm outside a place called 127. It's a boutique store. Also, I know they do skirts in there as well. It would be amazing to actually either get something from there or get some inspiration, see how it goes. What's up? Nice to meet you, man. So I'm here to meet Sanu, who's the founder of Verb London. Verb London are a gender fluid fashion platform. He's going to be telling me a bit about the brand, showing me through some pieces, getting me trying on some stuff, you know. Let's get branching out the box to get what I'm saying. I'm currently in the middle of hacking right now, about to go to a sick shop called Arrow Archive, and they have some of the sickest stuff ever. Some of the stuff you can't find usually anywhere else. It's got a lot of like Japanese fashion in there, it's got like, a lot of Yoji some Y3. This is the one. This is the store, man. I have just arrived in Edinburgh. If you can put two and two together, skirts episode, I'm in Scotland. I am doing a kilt. So I want to find out why they're worn, how they're worn, and most importantly, is it even a skirt at all? I feel like I've been slacking a little bit. My hustles haven't been as strong as they could be. So I'm taking matters into my own hands and I'm becoming a journalist. I'm going to be the Louis Theroux of PAQ. Is a kilt a skirt? Definitely not a skirt. Louis the PAQ needs work. I 
I thought it'd be sick to kind of go around the, you know, samurai kind of vibe. Japanese layering was actually sick. If you're going samurai, then you go to Japan. We have a few sick. skirts from Yoji Yamamoto, and one of them you can swap between having it as a trouser or a skirt. That could be something nice to try on. I'm definitely trying that on. That yeah. sounds sick. Welcome to our archive. The main objective is to find a sick skirt. I can't help but notice all of these fire clothes. We're gonna have a look through the whole entire thing. So we've got some stuff we picked out for you to try. Today is not about styling women's wear. Today is not about styling men's wear. I'm here today to just try on clothes themselves. Just clothes. It all started off with uh, one large piece of fabric um, and then the, the wearer would actually lie down flat on the fabric itself and they would fold it over themselves, attach it all with a belt. Very yeah. similar to like what you see in Braveheart. So these are the ones here. You've got the buttons. Yeah. So if you undo all of them, you've got a skirt. Keep them up like this, that's where you got your trouser. The women's wear stuff is so fire as well. See, look at, oh, this is peg. It's Junior Watanabe. So over the last couple of years, you know, you've seen a lot of changes in men's fashion. I guess uh, men wear women's clothing is more accepting. I think I'm gonna have to try this on, can't lie. So if you were to wear these, I don't think you'd sort of put them on and be like, oh, I'm not so sure, it feels a bit off. It's all about sort of this extreme sort of lovely, beautiful tailoring it really just makes a beautiful piece of clothing. Some of the things firstly I tried on were phenomenal. Things that maybe I wouldn't have never tried on before unless I was in that environment. So this, first of all, I think is yeah. crazy. Lace and then the details with all the ruffles. I wanted to show you guys how wearable some of these feminine pieces actually are. I don't think I'd ever think to, to try something like this. Does it make you feel any different? Yeah, no, I feel like a, I feel like a million dollars. Yeah. Raw, like, I look sick. So this is our second skirt that I think you might be able to try. You've got that lovely flow. You yep. can keep your movement. It's okay. long. And I reckon if you're saying you want to try that with boots, then that would work yeah. really nicely with that, to be honest. Yeah. Heading into this challenge, I had no idea about kilts at all. The kind of environment that we've created here with, uh, with the brand is to make sure that people want to wear their outfit again. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't have to be fully dressed up. It can be just very casual. Kyle basically showed me everything that I needed to know. What our kilt makers do is, a, is an art. looking nice. That's looking really nice. And then you've got the sort of all the movement that you want. Jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> Yet again, something that I didn't think I'd ever wear, but wearing it, I'm like, oh. Yeah. The collection, I think, was inspired by sort of being in school in China. Uh, so it's inspired a lot by the sort of uniforms and everything really? during That's their really childhood. Yeah. Because it's so like puffy everywhere. I that woman in robots, the one who has the big body. But this is sick though, loving it. As soon as Kyle put me in a kilt to start off with, mate, I was sold. Your kilt consists of about 13 to 14 different items, which is quite, quite, quite daunting, certainly for the first time wearing it. So you've got things like obviously your jacket and waistcoat, your sporins, you've got your kilt and your kilt pin. Further down from that, you've got your socks, your ski and do, your guard flashes from the side of the socks and your shoes as well. It's so regal, it feels amazing. <laughs> And then obviously the true true Scotsman would be no underwear. I mean, this is a bit elegant, but I think it could look nice, nice and formal. This is this is Matrix on next level, bro. It's Dextrix, bro. What? These are shorts, oh, but they're layered. They've got oh, wow. four different layers of fabric in them. So it's like a petal. And if I go into a men's section, uh, you don't really see frills, and you don't really see puffs like that, you know what I'm saying? But you can actually wear this stuff and it actually can be unisex. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Ariana. I am one of the owners and brand manager of RO Archive. So this is like a 90s Chanel padded skirt. We're hoping to show him through some archive pieces and some other stuff in the store. The experience of actually trying on these skirts is absolutely phenomenal. I'm out here wearing this vintage like Chanel skirt, it's mad. I guess a lot of this sportswear is great to cross into menswear. Yeah. So I 100%. guess it's not so fitted or in a woman's shape. I came in a red turtleneck okay. and some Doc Martens. Do you reckon we could work something around that? I reckon we could, could put something together that could be quite, quite different. Yeah. That's looking really nice. We've got something we can work with here. So I think maybe we should try something a bit more streetwear. I love this. Oh, this is beautiful. beautiful. They press fabric on it, uh, paint on it, and then crack it by hand. Yeah, it's got that shirling effect, but it's actually wool. Would you wear a skirt in your normal day-to-day -day life? Not in my normal day-to-day -day life, because I feel like it's such a, a powerful thing. I'd wait to make that statement 
somewhere where I would want people to see that. I like this one. That's I amazing. think that's a fantastic example of a skirt that is very masculine. I would put that in menswear rather than women's wear in the store and in the archive. We think as a company, men in skirts is the sexiest thing in the world. So we're looking, we're picking out different tartans, picking out different accessories to go in different colours. So this one here is the black Stuart. Red. The kind of red that we've got in that. Yellows. Yep. With tartan, it's like suits. You can pick up on tiny little details and really bring them out by adding other stuff to match. I've never seen so many good clothes in like one place. Like I just, I just love that whole shopping experience, you know. Why is it not okay for a man to wear something that looks like a dress? You can wear these shorts, like, yeah. you know, wide shorts, but then playing around with all the different layers. What's really the difference between a skirt and shorts? The last fit I tried on was a bit more like high fashion. This one's a bit more of a baggier look. <laughs> this is like me running shop. Fanta fruit twist, a bar cream soda, maybe some butter popcorn, because I might watch a movie, and a chocolate bar. Yeah. I didn't feel like a man wearing a skirt or the skirt's wearing a man. I just felt like a person wearing some nice clothes. I'm digging this skirt a lot, man. This one's actually really nice, and like the movement of it as well is so beautiful. That is amazing. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> this is what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. I think that's the most important message to put out when we're doing this challenge. It looks good and warm as well. Oh my word. <laughs> it's also very good for defense. No, this like can take the impact. I tried it on with these Doc Martens and the turtleneck and I think it's a vibe. Their brand is all about sort of nostalgia. And this is mental, yeah. It's still flow. Still run up on mandem. All I've bought so far is a kilt. Uh -huh. I feel like I could potentially style this out. Yep. It's not a look that I was 100% sure about to start <laughs> off with, but uh, it certainly works. It's, yeah. uh, it's quite, quite different. I want to say a massive shout out to Max as well. Thank you very much for helping me. It was a pleasure meeting you. I wanted a spirit guide, you know, the Master Sensei, and you definitely wear that today. Man is now Shadow Black fan. Man is the ultimate samurai, bro. Edinburgh, you've been fantastic. Kyle, You've been fantastic hair. Kilts, fantastic hair of her. You guys probably have noticed that I went there and I didn't even try on a skirt. Thank you. Yeah. And then I guess I'm just going to pull through now. So the point of this hustle was to show how we think about gender and how that also affects silhouettes within fashion. I've had a look at a lot of skirts. I've been here for some time now. I'm going to change back into my normal clothes. I need to think about what exactly I want to pick and what I want to do. I've got the inspiration. I'm ready to finalise my look. I'll see you guys on Judgment Day. Thank you so much, Julia, for coming down to the studio today. I'm Julia Hobbs, I'm a fashion writer, and I'm gonna be judging the PAQ guys on their skirt challenge today. Did anyone do a mini skirt? I'm intrigued to know. <laughs> Spice Girl style. Did anyone do a mini skirt? Did anyone experiment with some pleats or like a sort of Angelina Jolie side split? Ooh. I think men wearing skirts is still something that's seen as a kind of frontier in fashion and style, but I think it's something that we should think of as a new norm. Elias, you're up first. Let's see your skirt. So chic. It's got quite a Marquis Almeida vibe. I love the kind of board short look. This looks great. Thank you. So basically, this is a Rick Owen skirt. I love this skirt because I think it's so cool that it actually looks like shorts. I want it to look like it's something that I would actually rock. And the way I've styled it, I styled it with um, 
Kiko pants, also some Dr. Wu Converse, and a nice Ferrari polo, you know, the little touches of yellow. They're all my own clothes as well, and I thought that was really important because I wanted to show that you can actually style a skirt with your own wardrobe. Ellie's is like a mixture of uh, like a green grocer with, with the apron on, with a little pinny, walking up a little card machine. Do you know what would have been sick, bro, if you layered it? I think it would have been sick if you kind of like layered the jeans. Like, if you had like some like three quarter length shorts that kind of like stopped here, that was a different color. It looks more like you've got dungarees on and you've pulled them down. It doesn't look like yeah, a skirt. I hear it. I like the approach he took on it. It was still him and he wore it so casually. Thank you. Shaq, you gotta go get changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 he always walks out so serious. The skirt itself, it's come the gas on. The skirt was just so beautiful. It looked like, I don't know, it just looked like a nice wine stain. But it also reminded me of that show that Alexander McQueen did where the model was wearing a skirt and she was twirling around and the machine was spray painting it. Shalom Harlow there by you go. the robots. Mm -hmm. It was like an art piece. It came out looking like an art piece. I think you look really amazing, like all the risks taken. The only thing I'm not sure of, I'm slightly scared of, is the pattern. I think it does look like a bloodstain. We're gonna address the fact that he's definitely caught a body. He's decided not to wash it and he's just flaunting it. I like the take on it. I think the boots are sick. I like how the trousers drops with the boots, funny enough. This is definitely a very shack approach to the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you can tell this is like a very um, like fashion take on a skirt. I'm glad that everyone took something away from it. I'd hate to have just come out in a dress and everyone would have just like been like, oh, you look cute. Danny's got to hit the changing room now. Go on, get out of here, mate. You look amazing. Thank you very much. You've come, like, you've come from a long way. Going with a kilt, I just wanted to dress it down and not be too over the top and make it look amazingly fashion. I just wanted to kind of wear a kilt like you would day to day. So when you're doing skirts episode, <laughs> one thing comes to mind, and that is a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. For my hustle, I hopped on a train um, four and a half hours to Edinburgh. I was chatting to a lad there who taught me everything you need to know about kilts. We dressed it down and I was wearing a turtleneck for the challenge and I just thought, um, you know what, I'll pair some stuff with that. So I went for a yellow garter flash to match with the yellow from the docks. And then I went for a green upper and the navy sock to match the um, black watch tartan. I'm actually, do you know what, yeah? I think the tartan is sick, yeah. like the colorway is sick. What's in your your sporran. So you put all your daily essentials in your sporran, but obviously for this challenge, I'm already basically halfway there. I need to go the full way, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> These are my boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am catching a breeze. <laughs> Staying true to tradition. Indeed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm just thinking he has to now return that skirt. I just hope you wiped. I, I like that you're not wearing trousers with it. Or pants. Yeah, or <laughs> pants. Okay, the pet, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when you came out, first thing I was gonna ask is, yo, do you have pants on? It would have been cool to see maybe you add a little like cherry on top. Bro, you literally just took a heritage, put it on you, and was like, this is my fit. Dex, you gonna show us your skirt? Yep, let's go.
First off, I'll start with the shoes. The reason why I'm taller is because these are New Rocks. These are my boots. This guy is Yoji Yamamoto. This is my shirt from home. This is Uniqlo, title neck, Uniqlo. So this is a H&M jacket. You look amazing. I love you. that you've mixed like proportions. We were talking about how much you love to wear black and yes. playing around with like all different textures. And yeah, I love with the H&M jacket that's like, it's not a typical shape. It's like almost like a slouchy, like women's shape. It's very graceful, but it's like anchored in this heavy shoe. That is definitely a way you style black. You play with loads of different textures and cuts and layering. In a way, it's like, it almost, you almost forget that you're wearing a skirt. It's adventurous in a minimalistic way. It is, minimalistic, yeah. yeah. I think the length of the skirt's sick. It's almost like a trouser brick. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do that so bad. It's very, it's very Marilyn Manson. Ooh. Oh, do not. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks steezy. I will probably continue to do it in my own way. So I have come to a decision, actually. But maybe there's a second for a drum roll. <laughs> Dex, I thought you nailed it. <laughs> Comment below who you think should have won. Big thanks to Julia for coming down and judging. It was a pleasure. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace.